Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. And this video is going to be a 30 31 week update. Um, last time I left off at 29, and I'm trying to do them a little closer, but with enough content in it that you can actually, you know, there hasn't been much of a difference from week 29 to week 30 to week 31, but there have been a few things, and that is what I'm going to talk about today. It's actually my second time recording this video. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands so much right now. I am Italian, but this is the second time I'm recording this video. Um, my brain is like mush, like what I think and what I say don't make any sense. So I'm recording this again. Hopefully this time it'll be good. Uh, my feet from me standing up are completely gone. My belly is just getting so big. I can't see my feet. I can't see really anything. They're gone. My hips have been hurting more during these past couple weeks. And I believe that is because he is just preparing to come down the birth canal even more if he's not already heading that direction, which he, I think, should be. However, I think that is why my hips have been hurting way more than they have my entire pregnancy. They've been sore sometimes, like if I lay too long on one side or I sit too long or something like that, but this is like hurt. Like if I'm on the ground, forget it, forget it. Well, we had our baby shower, but I was the only one able to go. If you kind of missed why, that's in my last video. However, I drove to Maryland, which was actually a lot better than I had thought, and it wasn't nearly as much of a hassle of a trip. It was just me in the car. I was kind of just having me time to myself, and I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. I guess my, my feet swelling up pretty bad. I did enjoy it. I just took my time, made sure I stopped, put my feet up when I could. I made sure I just took my time eating so I didn't get really bad heartburn, brought my Tums because you know you need your Tums. We had our baby shower, it was Harry Potter themed. I saw a ton of people that I haven't seen maybe since my wedding and it was just nice to see everybody. We got some good things and I can't wait to put them out or up or whatever and use them. We got a good start. Uh, my husband and I still have a few more things we have to go purchase so that might be a week this weekend thing. I'm hoping and praying because I just want to get this room in the right direction to being done. I don't want to be stressing about a room, but I'm very much a person that likes to just be prepared when the time comes, I'm ready. And this room's not ready yet. You'll probably see behind me maybe the shadow here, but we did get the crib. While I was away in Maryland, my husband did go get this um, and the mattress. So he picked that up for me and built it all together while I was away and I come home to this and it was so good to see it. Sometimes we find ourselves just staring at it because we're like, we're gonna have a little guy in there sometime soon. Like, it's just nuts. Like, but yeah, we had the baby shower and his name was revealed at the shower. Our son's name is going to be Oliver Thomas. I got a lot of people asking if the reason why I named him Oliver was because of Harry Potter. You know, Ollivander's, you know, the guy who does the wand thing. But I said, not really, it had an influence, but it wasn't really the sole reason why we named him Oliver. I was actually on Pinterest looking up Harry Potter nursery things and someone had a quilt that was a Harry Potter quilt and the name on it was Oliver. So I guess in a way it was influenced by that, but it wasn't the actual reason why. And his middle name Thomas comes from Jordan's side of the family, his dad, his brother, and his grandfather. Their names are all Thomas, so that is that. I love the name, it's just such a classic, classic name. Um, I have been having bigger movements. Oliver does move when I talk more like this that's when he is more at he's very responsive which is awesome i get two little feet up here i did this past weekend and sometimes it's just like a complete stomach shift when he moves now it's not so jabby and it gets really tight and then i know it's gonna just shift and it does and it's really awesome i love to watch that it's such a cool feeling i've been starting to get lightning crotch I don't know why they have to call it that. I'm 
thinking, again, just him dropping down into the birth canal to prepare to come out into the world. He has moved also to the front part of my stomach more. I know in the last video for, the, for a while, he was constantly in my right. He sometimes does go back there or at least some body parts do, maybe arms, legs, whatever, but for the most part, he is right in the middle right now. So good news, I can lay on my side again, on this side again. I'm also finding that to get up out of bed is becoming way more of a hassle. Also, if I sit on the floor, God forbid, I try to get up, I have to get a rolling start. I have to start a momentum just to like get the motion to even rise. A little sore again, like my hips hurt, but other than that, pretty good. I'm also getting stretch marks in the front part of my stomach but like way low which kind of stinks but I went this long without them I thought I was gonna be in the clear but I guess not <laughs> maybe they won't be as bad I have some on my sides that are pretty they're pretty dark but I'm just using cocoa butter and hoping and praying that it'll at least lighten them up but if not whatever I'm starting to just get excited to have him I don't want to rush this pregnancy I am enjoying it. I love being pregnant. I just think once he's born, I just think it's gonna be a whole new, I don't even know. What I think might happen is probably not gonna be, I don't know. That is pretty much it for my video. Um, I'm going to be doing a diaper bag review pre-baby, both mine and my husband's. And once we get more stuff that we need, then I'll do like a baby shower, slash baby haul thing where I just show the things we got and all that good stuff and then I want to do a room reveal and just kind of show you what his room looks like when it's completed but I'm not going to do that because obviously we don't have everything yet so um again I'm mumbling because I don't know how to think so I'm actually wanting I was wanting to do the diaper bag thing today but I don't know if I'm going to because I'm like really not mentally able to. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. And if you have any video suggestions, um, can I help you? Any video suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day.